Ladies and gentlemen, these Sandy Hook parents are cleaning Alex Jones' clock. If you remember back in August, one parent was awarded $4.1 million. Well, the courts have now rewarded parents of Sandy Hook $49 million. $49 million. And Alex Jones, y'all, I was looking at another article when I woke up this morning. Alex Jones can't get an attorney to help him with his chapter 11 bankruptcy. He's having a hard time finding an attorney that will help him with the chapter 11 that he's trying to file. And if you remember the bankruptcy court, they um, refuse to accept his filing because they said he was abusing the court system, you know, trying to get out of paying these parents. But Alex Jones has showed everybody on social media what you absolutely do not do. You don't start ranting and raving about the same issue over and over and over and over because there are consequences. And see, by the time Alex Jones admitted Sandy Hook was real, he was already knee deep in lawsuits, but he couldn't see the light before then. Mm -mm -mm. Don't do what Alex Jones have done. So Sandy Hook parents, who won 49 million want Texas judge to punish Alex Jones for rampant trial misconduct. Well, he already got caught in lies. I mean, and, and people wanted him punished for that. So the parents of a slain Sandy Hook boy was awarded $49 million. And see, they haven't even gotten to the rest of the parents yet, y'all. They haven't gotten to the rest of the parents. They are going to clean this man out. It's not going to be nothing left. So this is one parent, I mean, uh, parents, you know, mother and father and their son. Damages for defamation from Alex Jones argue in a new court paper that there are enormous verdicts which would have been larger if not for the serial abuses and rampant misconduct by Alex Jones and his attorney. There is no question that Jones' attorney and Dino extensive misconduct and in introduction of inadmissible matters injected, wow, into the jury deliberations, read a motion for sanctions by the parent's attorney. Alex Jones should be sanctioned for giving false testimony to cover up his discovery obstruction. Jones, who garnered national media attention in Connecticut, where a jury trial began last week to determine how much he must pay eight Sandy Hook families and an FBI agent he defamed, could not be reached for comment Monday at an Austin, Texas headquarters of his Infowar conspiracy broadcast and, and merchandising business. Mm -mm -mm. Jones attorney, Raynal was in court on Monday and was also not available to comment on the parents' motion for sanctions in Texas. Specifically, the parents argued Jones and his attorney should be sanctioned because Jones discussed his trial as it was happening on his InfoWars program in defiance of the judge's order. Wow, Alex Jones ain't learning nothing, y'all. He ain't learning nothing. He just gonna continue his very privileged behavior no matter what. He's not learning a thing. 
because Joan's attorney was intentionally sabotaging the jury with false and insubmissible testimony, and because Jones had testified that there were no text messages on his phone related to Sandy Hook, which they said it was quite a few. Lawsuits when evidence later turned up that there were such text messages on Jones's phone. The court motion reads, the parents attorney revealed in dramatic fashion during Jones testimony that he had received the Infowar host cell phone records, apparently by mistake from Jones's attorney. Yeah, I remember that. And I did a video on that too. Your attorney effed up and revealed the text messages. Wow. While Mr. Jones' obstruction has reached absurd lengths throughout the entire case, his testimony at trial demonstrate his willingness to lie under oath to conceal his misconduct, reads the parents' motion for sanction, written by their lead attorney, Mark Bankston. The parents request to make Jones and his attorney pay for the rampant misconduct, including all attorney fees incurred in connection with the Texas trial and all other appropriate uh, remedial sanctions. It comes as Sandy Hook families prepare for the continuation of the Connecticut trial on Tuesday in Waterbury where Jones is expected to take the stand before the end of the week. Yeah, take the stand and continue to lie. So he went on Infowars and discussed the case, and he had a gag order not to do that, y'all. Well, Alex Jones is only digging a deeper grave for himself, for real. Okay, so the judge in Texas ended the trial early August where testimony was supposed to be limited to determining damages Jones had to pay the parents for a slain Sandy Hook boy. Jones won't be able to say he's innocent when he comes to Connecticut. The reason Jones was found liable for defamation in 2021 by default when the state superior judge, uh, Barbara Bellis, ruled Jones had abused the pretrial process for the last time, Jones was defaulted and found liable in two of the defamation cases in Texas. The case that just concluded with a $49 million award. This is just going to one parent. They still haven't gotten to the other parents. Can you just imagine when they do? <sighs> Woo! The case that is scheduled for trial in December, where a jury will decide how much Jones must pay the parents of another slain Sandy Hook boy, Jones defamed. Mm -mm -mm. The parents motion to sanction Jones and his attorney for trial misconduct recall some of the most memorable confrontation with the test, uh, Texas District Court Judge Maya uh, Gamble. So they said in Texas that when um, Jones and his attorney were accused of misconduct, that was a live stream trial in Austin. This is according to what it's saying. Mr. Jones, you may not say to the jury that you complied with discovery. That is not true. You may not say it again. The judge warned Jones at one point that the jury had been dismissed during the explosive second week of the trial. Yes or no, do you understand what I have said? Jones, yes. I believe that I said, you know, what I said was true. You believe everything you said is true, but it isn't, the judge said. Your beliefs do not make something true. 
that is what you're, that's what we're doing here. So <laughs> they said, this judge said, no, he absolutely was not telling the truth. Wow. At another point during the trial, Judge Gamble determined that Jones and Infowar personality, Owen Scheuer, had discussed the day's trial on Jones' live broadcast in defiance of her instructions that witnesses could not discuss the case with each other. The judge admonished Jones' attorney. Did you follow my instructions? Clearly not the way your honor intended. Just that's how uh, Jones' attorney answered. I can assure your honor that they did not discuss anybody's testimony. I misunderstood based on my experience and my practice. That attorney better watch himself. They are talking about going after him too. So y'all, mm, I know, you know, when, when I look at Alex Jones, I think about what Wesley Snipes said in the movie, see ya, I wouldn't wanna be ya. Mm -mm. Y'all, wait until they get through all of these Sandy Hook parents and start giving them more awards in the millions. Yeah, that's why his butt is running to the bankruptcy court because he knows this is financially going to ruin him. It is. I don't care how much they claim Alex Jones got. By the time you get, if they're awarding one parent, one set of parents, $49 million, and they haven't gotten to the others, which will probably get depending on how bad he defamed these children, they could get that same amount or even more. I don't know, Jones, don't look so good for you, man. But y'all, please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace family.